TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see the warning screen. I'm sure we're not going to need it. It's just the exploration we going on right now, man. Don't forget, twitch.com is where you can catch lives or catch the old lives and, you know, be, be prepared. Username's at the bottom of the screen right here. You see it. Um, don't forget, we also got Patreon where we post five days a week and we got merch. This is, I explored five worst areas, the five worst areas to live in Coventry. This is UK Explored. Okay, talk to me then. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Welcome to UK Explored. In this video, I'm going to show you what I saw and experienced inside five of the most deprived, dangerous, and ultimately worst areas to live in the city of Coventry. My first stop was an area called Bell Green. Bell Green. This area is located northeast. Have I not watched UK Explored in a little minute? What's going on? This is like new. I'm talking or. Of the city I... centre. It's one of the most income deprived areas in Coventry and also has the sixth highest crime rate. I'll state the obvious straight off the bat. As you can see for yourself in the footage, the housing situation in a lot of Bells Green. Look terrible. It's clearly run down and it needed some work. Look derelict. There's litter everywhere. I saw loads of people drinking tins on the street at 10 in the morning. And it's one of the most depressing housing complexes I've been to, to be honest. You see real alcoholics out there, huh? That's in fact, some of the flats looked so bad, I assumed they were derelict. And I did find reports that some of it was going to be demolished a couple of years back. But Never I asked a couple happened. of locals, and they said that there are some people living in there. And I also saw movement through the windows, and I saw people on the balconies. So I'm not sure if they should be there or not, but people are definitely living here. Yeah. The whole area has an unusual layout, so I'll give it that. You have could be squatters, could be people who like own their flats and don't want to leave. Huge high rise in the middle, which is called Dewey's House, and it's built back in the 60s. This is then surrounded by shops, or at least what used to be shops, as most of it is now closed down. Of course, there are bookies operating. And there are loads of flats and affordable housing units in this square and the surrounding area. And then it kind of ripples out to more flats and affordable housing in the surrounding area. I can imagine this complex was once pretty nice when it's first built, and I'm sure the idea behind it was to have a community that had everything they needed. But these sort of projects often go south. Very often. Walking around it today. It was probably decent in, back when it was built, but like 10 years in, it was over. Honestly, it feels more like a prison complex than a welcome in the States. And I guess in part, that's because it's due to be demolished or renovated, but it is what it is. The this little is problem all across Coventry in general was crazy. You're going to see a lot of that in this video. And Bell Green was no exception. Some about no fly tipping and name the garbage can. And There was loads of discarded drink and drug paraphernalia, much of which had clearly been on the floor for months, if not years. I could have easily put together an hour long montage for the fly tipping and litter I had to walk through. You should through. have. And of course, there's no shortage of shocking local and- I don't know, UK Explored, I don't know if you ever see me reacting to your videos, but do you? Have you ever tried to like, I, I, I can't remember how it was, the layout before? Was Has it always been voiceover or has it all, or did you try like uh, walking and talking during a video too? I don't know, I kind of like this though. Why didn't we go home? National headlines coming out of Bell Green. Thefts are pretty common, as you'd expect. Some serious assaults happen on this estate, going all the way up to shootings and even murder. I think the Wikipedia page sums it up well. It says that Bell Green has high levels of social and economic deprivation and significant problems with crime and antisocial behavior. So yeah, it's a no-brainer that Bell Green is one of the worst areas to live in Coventry. With all of that in mind, for the privilege of living in Bell Green, 
cold. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know how it can get much worse than this. This is this look like number one. And to right move, the average house price over the last year was a whopping 181,000. The next area I went to is Hillfields, which is located just outside of the city center. Hillfields has a crime rate of 146. Oh, which I do is remember twice okay. the UK average. I mean, Last video I watched it was like this, with all the stats and stuff like this. To the fifth most dangerous area in Coventry. That's a pretty high crime rate, but it's the poverty that's hitting Hillfields hard. Along with some other areas in Coventry, Hillfields is among the top 5% of the most deprived areas across the whole of England, which is pretty shocking. It's also no coincidence that there are these three huge high-rise tower blocks in the area. Now I've received a lot of flack before on the channel for saying that high rise accommodation means more crime, but it's just fact. There have been endless social studies across several decades that you can look up yourself that prove that there are always higher crime rates. You, you ain't even gotta look this up. People from in the hood know that this is, this is fact. Who told you that? Levels of antisocial behavior and other social issues within high rise buildings, tower yeah. blocks and flats. It's just not 100% for debate. Anyway, according to Coventry City Council, Hillfields has a population of around 13,400, and it's clearly a very diverse area, but predominantly it's Asian occupied. I was surprised to see this free car park while looking for somewhere to park, but not only couldn't I find a space, it's been used as a flight tipping spot and somewhere to dump cars. Just look at all of this junk here, it's, it's insane. This is a functional car park, apparently. You know what I know though? Like litter begots litter. Like if you, like if I go to somebody's town or somebody goes to your town and it's just all litter everywhere, they're gonna litter too. Like man, I, I, hey, look, I'm not gonna change. Just me not littering is not gonna change anything. You know what I'm saying? The litter and fly tipping didn't stop there, of course. Much like Bell Green, it feels like the residents of Hillfields don't know what a bin is. In America, this happens a lot, though, but, like, the garbage men pick this stuff up. Like, you leave big things on the side of the road, like, the garbage, they come get it. <laughs> For such Not a small here. area, there are some wild headlines coming out of Hillfields as well, like huge cannabis grows and other Class A drugs busts, arson inside the high-rise tower blocks, which is pretty scary if you live there, people swinging machetes around, fatal drive-bys, Kids taking knives into schools. It just this goes up. This is Coventry, Coventry bussing. They got two black cats. Oh my God, whole, whole town got bad luck. That's what it is. On and on. On paper, Hillfields is an obvious choice for this list of the worst areas to live in Coventry. Hillfields. But I will add that this is also backed up from people who live in or know Coventry. Whenever this question is asked online, Hillfields, along with the other areas on this list, just kept popping up. And having spent some time there myself, I have to agree. According to Right Move, the average house price across Hillfields over the last year is in the 170,000 range. 170, okay. The next area is Henley Green, which is number four was definitely number worse, number worse than number five. So. It's located a fair way Good. east of the city centre. All of the areas on this list are classified as deprived, but Henley Green is the most deprived area in Coventry, and in 2019 it was listed as the 94th most deprived private area in Coventry. Like, why would they do this? Why would they stack that on top of that? And in 2019, it was listed as the 94th most deprived area across the whole of England. That's not a stat to be proud of. And it brings up the broader question of why there are so many super deprived areas in the UK now. But back on topic, for a little history lesson, according to Wikipedia, the bulk of Henley Green was built in the 50s quickly and cheaply to help house the influx of workers moving to Coventry to be part of some booming industries at the time. Industries that have long passed, like car manufacturing. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I'd be trying to, I'd be trying to find the beauty and stuff, but I don't. See from this drone footage here that the housing layout is quite interesting. It's very different from the usual parallel red brick housing we're used to. It looks, yeah, a bit it looks like a, like the city of Chicago. So it looks like it's on a grid. It looks real chicago -y. Like a mobile holiday housing camp, really, doesn't it? I couldn't find demographic data just for Henley Green, but the ward covering Henley and the surrounding areas is listed as predominantly white. Ooh. 
There is yet another ugly high-rise tower block in the area. And to be honest, Coventry has quite a lot of these for the size of the city. It's not like the build, the, the high-rises are well kept too, they look bad. Why, Why do so many people in high-rise buildings have to throw their dirty babies' nappies out of the windows? It's, it's so gross. I've seen it at a number of places I've been to, particularly Wolverhampton and West Brom come to mind. Because the garbage probably far. I know they got a garbage chute, it's probably broken. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't leave a dirty nappy in the crib because it's going to stink up the house. The layout of this estate is like a maze to walk around. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. It was pretty untidy, as I guess you'd expect, but not as bad as the other areas I went to in Coventry. Even this cat. Oh my god, bro, bro went through it. Louis! <laughs> Louis! Come look at your friend! Trying to show my cat this is where he could bend up if he don't act right. That looks like he's feeling the cost of living pinch, doesn't he? I couldn't find crime stat data isolated to just Henley Green, but Henley and the surrounding areas have all the same serious criminal activity as the other areas on this list. Murders and shootings have taken place. I mean, that shooting there was gang related, and I like the quote from the chief inspector there discharging a firearm in public is totally unacceptable. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. There was definitely a strong whiff of weed near a couple of houses when I was walking around, so oh, cannabis busts is isn't a huge surprise bad, to me. Buddy. But the scale of some of these drug busts is pretty alarming. Anywho, house prices in Coventry... See, this one looks very familiar, I'm telling you, it looks like home. General seem to be a bit steep, if you ask me. And according to Wright, the average was... house price over the last year in Henry Green was in the 192,000 range. Next, we have Willenhall, which is a suburb located to the far south of Coventry. Now, Willenhall started out as its own small village, but at some point it was absorbed into the city of Coventry and became one of its suburbs. Oh my God. It has a lot of green areas around it, which should be a nice thing. But as you will see, the fly tippers have been dumping like crazy around the area. So they need one of those dudes that be on TikTok that be mowing grass for free. They have a field day in, out here. The woodland is more like a tip. Than some sort of idyllic escape. Unlimited the content. reason Willen Hall is on this list is because it holds the title for being the highest crime rate area in Coventry outside of the city centre. A lot of the crimes are pretty serious as well, so it's fair to call Willen Hall the most dangerous area to live in Coventry, which obviously makes it one of the worst areas to live. Right. Unless you like living on the edge, of course. The demographic data we have available shows us that it's a white occupied area for the most part, and it's also in the top five most income deprived areas. As you can see from me just walking around, the area is a state, honestly. I gotta give it up to you, you outside with it. I don't like sure. being so blunt, but I saw more fridge freezer units on the street than curries carrying stock. It smelled awful <laughs> everywhere. The communal bins- I can smell it through the computer, it smells like pee pee. Bins were often overflowing or people had just dumped their rubbish near them. There were more nappies thrown out of windows. And I heard lots of arguments and shouting coming from all over the estate when I was walking around. Of course. I actually think I heard some guys having a fight at one point in the back garden I passed. Domestics. There's a load of noise online as well on social media and forums backing all of this up. But I know some people from the area will come and comment on the video and say it's not that bad. That always happens. But there are endless news reports about fatal stabbings and shootings. This is actually one of the roads right here where someone was shot and killed recently. Drugs are prevalent in the area. There are gangs battling it out and torturing each other. The stats don't lie. Anyway, back out on the beat, you'll get a feel for the area. It's mostly blocks of social housing, flats built in these sort of compounds. I love how everywhere there is a sign saying not to flight it. There are literally piles of flight it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, y'all messing up your own community. You're talking about no fly tipping. They, they, this is just ignorance. Of course, like all good struggling neighborhoods, you have a bookies. Anyways, okay, bet. Stand on that. Just, just look at that through. structure there. It's beautiful. Anyway, according to Rightmove, the average house price across <coughs> Willingham last year was in the 177,000 range. My last stop, while in Coventry, was Falls Hill, a suburb just north, Falls Hill. north of the mm. city centre that has a mix of residential and commercial areas and a pretty busy shopping district. 
So demographically, Falls Hill has the highest population of Asian residents of any area across Coventry. About 45% of residents are Asian. And this area struggles with crime Jeez. more so than it does poverty. Both the east and west sides of Falls Hill are listed in the top five most crime ridden areas in Coventry. But the pattern here is the same as throughout most of the worst areas in Coventry. There's another high rise building that is the center of most of the antisocial issues. Problems this building actually is nice compared to the other stuff. This one looked nice, like they re just they did that, blah, 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 like they just redid it. Flow out into the greater community, and the amount of litter lying in the floor is just ridiculous. That's somebody's house, bro. That's somebody's grid. This here is Stony Stanton Road, which, according to locals online, is one of the most notorious roads in Coventry. For me, it's really symbolic of what's happening across the UK. I think like most cities have roads that look a lot like this one now, right? Places that just aren't safe after dark and they comprise mostly of small businesses from all around the world, mostly takeaways and food stores. Just look at all this litter and junk dumped right here. This is actually on the police station premises. I mean, that- Dang, the police don't care? Kind of says it all really, doesn't it? To be fair to the police, maybe they're too busy out dealing with all the criminal activity that's going on in the area to pick up the litter. The area clearly has a mm, they're gonna say it's not their job, huge buddy. drug problem. There are endless reports about drug bursts and drug related crimes. There is often tension in the community that results in serious assaults and even murder. And the high rise block, which is called Faulkner House, often has something going you on. I understand, man. What little, what little stuff people got, man. There's probably a lot of robber, yeah, a lot of robberies. Like people try to rob you. Like I'm not going for that. I got nothing. But at least it's literally next door to the police station, so they don't have to go very far. Buying up property in the area isn't cheap. According to Right Move, the average house price across Falls Hill over the last year was in the 190,000 range. What? Well, that just about wraps up my experience checking out the worst areas to live in Coventry. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the one popping up on the screen. I already like and subscribe. Let me hit the like button, man. This is his page. Go check him out, man. I like how he does his stuff. Real stats. No made up stuff. No fake news, man. I'm gone.